Dracula next Sunday. This is CBS. Tonight on Eyewitness News Night Watch, Warner Robins detectives continue searching for a man they say kidnapped his own stepdaughter. We'll show you how central Georgians are helping out their needy neighbors during the holidays. Bill Powell will tell you what kind of weather you can expect during Christmas week. And Matt Miller takes you around the world of sports, from the links to the courts to the field. Night Watch is next. Through Monday night, Five Star Mazda's Holiday Blowout gives you three great reasons to buy now. One, one, four hundred thousand dollars in cash. Yes, claim your share of over four hundred thousand dollars in factory cash assistance. Two, two, two just forty-nine dollars down delivers any new Mazda on our lot. Three, three, three buy three. now and make no payments till spring of next year. Why wait? Four hundred thousand dollars in cash, forty-nine dollars down delivers, and no payments till spring on top of year-end clearance prices. It's our Holiday Blowout through Monday night only at Five Star Mazda, thirty sixty-eight Riverside Drive. I'm running the rock. What are you sit down? Hi, Richie. I really need to talk to you. I got you covered. Just a couple hits. Richie, I don't have any money. Please. What are you, stupid? No money, no crack. You understand? It dissolve. Lose yourself. Richie, come on. Don't leave, please. Listen, shh, shh. You're going to get that little red-headed girl. Charlotte? Both of you is going to come over to my crib. Understand me? Then I'll take care of you. Straight from the heart, you're watching WMAZ-TV, Macon. I... The driver of this car ignored the stop sign. The two were hit broadside as they crossed the tracks. Hospital officials say Maitland Webb suffered lacerations to the head and Roger Richardson escaped with fractured ribs. Railroad and police officials say they will comment following further investigation. A spark from a furnace is the cause of a morning fire here in Macon, but Mother Nature gave these firefighters a helping hand. Heavy rains helped down. Good as alert, Sector 7. Lunch. Great chocolate taste. Wholesome oats and grains. Nice work. Kudos. All systems go. Roger copy. October means baseball. Not in this house. Wouldn't you rather watch a movie? Her neighbors were her best friends. If I had to pay for babysitter, I don't know how we'd eat. But behind their friendly smiles hides a plan. I want three birth certificates. To start a family by taking hers. They stole my baby. There's too many nice people I met. Why isn't someone out there looking for him? I expect obedience. Nicolette Sheridan and Faye Dunaway in the powerful true story, The People Next Door, CBS Next Tuesday. The Country Music Association Awards has the most live music. Join Alan Jackson, Dolly Parton, Shania Twain, plus a duet with Wynonna and Michael Bolton. Who will be Entertainer of the Year? Vince Gill hosts the CMA's CBS Wednesday, October 2nd. Get in on the fun with Dave, Ellen DeGeneres, Trisha Yearwood, and Stephen King all tonight on The Late Show with David Letterman. Now, your local news. Coming up on Eyewitness News Nightwatch, the worst fears of a Central Georgia family comes true in their search for their loved one, a uh, council member in Central Georgia, in a Central Georgia town. And jury selection begins in the murder trial of two men in a drive-by shooting in Baldwin County. So stay with us. Eyewitness News Nightwatch is next. Georgia. Now here's your reward. Buick's Closeout, the biggest sales event of the year. Get giant cash on Skylark, Century, Regal, and Park Avenue. An incredible 3000 on Riviera. Now, wouldn't you really rather have a Buick? Buick, turning head in Georgia. Ways. I got no kick against CGI Insurance, a full service insurance agency offering auto, home, business, life, and health. We want to be your agent. Give us a call at 784 1611. The new 99 cent Arby's Bacon Melt. Our slow roasted beef, thick cut peppered bacon, and hot tangy cheddar. A big taste for a really small price. It starts here. And it starts here. And it even starts here. Because it all starts here. At Walmart, home of the EverStart battery. A powerful new battery that you can count on to start when you need it to. 
And since it's at Walmart, you can also count on a good price. Everstart, the name says it all. From Atlanta, the Georgia Lottery presents Fantasy Five. And good evening, everybody. I'm Glenn Burns. Certifying tonight's drawing is Jim Ives of KPMG Pete Marwick. It's Tuesday, September the 24th. We've just started 35 balls mixing in the Fantasy Five chamber. I'm going to draw five balls you can win by matching three or more. And last night, nobody picked all five numbers, so more than $106,000 has rolled over for tonight's drawing. So let's see how lucky tonight's Fantasy Five is for you. Up first, we have the number 11. That'll be followed by 16. Up next is, we have 9, and 12, and finally, 26. So our Fantasy 5 numbers again for tonight are 11, 16, 9, 12, and 26. Remember, you can win Fantasy 5 by matching 3, 4, or 5 of these numbers. Don't forget, the big game jackpot worth an estimated $15 million Friday night. This has been the Georgia Lottery Fantasy 5 Drawing. Closed captioning brought to you by your local Ford dealers. Coverage straight from the heart. You're watching 13 WMAZ Eyewitness News Nightwatch. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Tina Hicks. Our top story tonight, family members of a prominent Central Georgian are living out their worst fears tonight. The body of Unadilla Councilman Benny Harrell was found today in a remote area of southern Crawford County. That according to authorities in three local counties who are investigating tonight. Uh, they tell us that around 6.30 tonight, one of the suspects in custody started to talk. Authorities went to the scene and they say then they found a body. At first they could not confirm it. Dooley County does confirm that it is the body of Harold's. In Milledgeville, an inmate at the Baldwin State Prison is dead. A spokesperson for the Georgia Department of Corrections says 20-year-old Asimi Lee Smith hung himself late last night night. The six foot two, 122 pound inmate was in prison on a number of offenses out of Whitfield County. Again, he hanged himself. Authorities say Smith's crimes range from theft by receiving to criminal trespassing to other misdemeanor charges. The inmate was supposed to spend three years in jail. Smith, who was from Dalton, entered the Baldwin County prison last April. Macon police officers are still searching for a suspect who shot and killed a man. Authorities are looking for the gunman who murdered 47-year-old Herbert Holston. Police say Holston was in his car with the suspect when he was shot. Holston drove a silver Plymouth Acclaim license plate number SPJ164. After he was shot, police say Holston got out of the car and banged on the door of a house on Hartley Street asking for help, but the woman who lived there said she was afraid to open the door. Now, officers say Holston then ran to another house in the 1300 block of Glendale Avenue where he collapsed. That homeowner called 911 and Holston was taken to the medical center where he later died. A witness at the crime scene says she peeked out of her window when she heard the shots and saw four black men drive away in a white car, probably a Grand Am or a Pontiac Grand, Grand Prix. Now, if you have any information, making police ask that you please call them. And as we reported to you on last night about the murder in Tendall Heights, police are still looking for a suspect. Macon detectives have a murder warrant for the arrest of 20-year-old Tara Stevens. Steven is, Stevens rather, is accused of shooting and killing 23-year-old Frank Little Jr. The murder happened last night in Tendall Heights around 9.30. Police say the two friends were fighting over money. Little and Stevens both escaped from the work release program at the Bibb County Law Enforcement Center on August 31st. Now here's a picture of Tara Stevens. Police say he could be driving a black and beige Jeep Cherokee. In Milledgeville, the jury is seated and opening arguments were made today in the murder trial. Defendants Rodriguez Hartree and Darian Alexander are facing murder convictions and the drive-by shooting deaths, uh, death rather, of late last spring. The victim was 44-year-old Delma Goddard. Goddard died on May 26 when a bullet struck him in the throat. He and other family members were sitting on the porch when witnesses say a group of men and a pickup truck drove by and fired bullets at the house. 
gangs leave their marks everywhere, usually in the form of graffiti. But in tonight's Crackdown on Crime Report, Michelle Dixon shows you how the artistic talents of some former wall riders are being channeled into cleaning up neighborhoods.